दिस इज माई फेवरेट नाइनटीन बार रिजेंटा एस्प्रेसो मेकर 19 bar means it has 19 atmospheric pressure power and the quality of espresso the aroma the taste is just out of this world whether you have the espresso whether you make americano out of that espresso or you make cappuccino or latte you will feel that little bitter taste of coffee which gives it that necessary punch let me show you how this wonderful machine operates it has three simple buttons power taking the espresso out and taking the steam out and it has this beautiful analog dial which will give an indication of the temperature which has been reached so first we switch on the machine and the light here comes up but at the same time here is the water bucket and we'll add some water to it here is a hot plate on the top and you can keep your espresso cups here to keep them warm let us first fill some nice coffee powder in this soda filter we get this measuring spoon and this stamper along with the machine so we will use it to fill the powder press lightly and the right way to do is to clean this extra powder with your finger so that it doesn't interfere with the steaming process we put the soda filter back now we can see the light is green which means it is ready for our espresso shot so let's first take out the espresso shot in this beautiful glass we can also see here the temperature has reached in the red zone it's about 100 degrees right now perfect temperature to take out the shot the pressure is getting built and soon we will see rich dark aromatic coffee coming out look at this wonderful coffee extracted from the machine and we can decide how long the coffee should be i like it a bit long now it's enough for me and i press this and switch off the machine it stops look at this wonderful espresso shot you can see the black espresso shot and look at the thickness of the crema almost 6 mm thick crema this shows the quality of the machine its power in extracting the essential oils from coffee which give the espresso its taste look at this thick crema weaker machines will not be able to take out this kind of crema this espresso shot is the basis for all coffees you add hot water to it it will become americano or long black you add milk to it and foam it it will become cappuccino you add more foam to it it becomes your latte and i just love it this way Normally we use this kind of a steel jug for frothing but for your benefit let me show the frothing process in this glass bowl so you can see exactly how it is working now here we see the green light again which means the machine is again ready either to take the espresso shot out or for steaming you can do both now we will press the steam button to build steam inside the machine we'll press this you see the green light has gone off and when the machine is ready with the right kind of pressure of steam it will come back and become green again and let me tell you here is our drip tray so any extra water or milk will flow through inside it and you can very easily take it out and throw it away clean it and put it back again it will take about a minute for this green light to come on and now there is a little click and you can see the green light is on which means there is sufficient amount of steam inside So let us hold our cup here and turn this knob. Here we go. Such a good pressure of steam. We can see the frothing happening. Look at this wonderful frothing. But first, let me explain that every time you froth the milk, immediately clean your spout because otherwise the milk can condense. Just release a bit of steam. and the spout will be clean from inside also always do this this is good habit your machine will not get clogged now look at this excellent foam just the kind you get in coffee houses and we add this foam normally from the steel jug with the spout but let me just add it here and ah look at this wonderful cappuccino which has been made 
now we have created a fantastic cup of cappuccino and if you want to take out one more cup the machine is ready with the green light if you want to switch off the machine switch it off from here and release the extra steam there should be no pressure built inside when the machine is resting please release the steam before you take out the pota filter otherwise steam may come out from here as well and how to release the extra steam well just keep any cup here and release the steam in that we'll switch it off and we'll take out the pota filter let me show you how to take out the cake so here is this plastic knob which you put like this so you don't touch the hot pota filter put your thumb here and remove the excess coffee powder like this <laughs> 